Hi guys, I'm here with little Liasia and I'm going to change her because she was sticky so I had started to powder her. I had her in a t-shirt and a diaper but my house is hot during the day because I don't keep my ear on all day so when I cut it off I noticed that she actually sweats and then her powder disappears so I have to repowder her and I was going to put a little outfit on her because I do like to change her but I'm trying not to change her too much but she's so cute and you just want to change them you know how that is and I have some little outfits that I had bought for some of the other babies that they never wore so now I want to put some of them on her because they seem like they'll fit her I guess and I put this little snap shirt on her again because the outfit she doesn't really need a, a t-shirt under it but I like to put a t-shirt on them or a onesie because it kind of keeps the um her belly plate or her body plate as they call it in place so it won't move around while she has on her little outfits. So I'm going to have to buy her some more little newborn size white onesies. Because I mostly have the snap shirts like this. But I don't really have any um, newborn size onesies. Because the 0 to 3 months onesies are a little bit big on her. So they don't hold her her body plate in place that well and I like it to stay however I put it like these little um, snap shirts hold it in place really good because these are kind of tight because they size newborn on her so they really hold it better than the zero to three months right little girl and I am just enjoying this baby so much. Oh my goodness. I can't even explain it. I'm just like holding her and can't get anything done because I want to hold her. <laughs> when I get up in the morning, I pick her up as soon as I wake up. I, if I go in the kitchen to make breakfast or whatever for the kids, I take her up there with me. I put her in the living room on the couch so I can see her from the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm looking at her from the kitchen, keep checking on her. And she's just nice to look at when you just have her like this and you just glance and look at her. I mean, she looks just like a real newborn baby laying there. So I just love to just look at her sometimes. I don't even have to touch her. She's just like, if I turn, I like her to be there so I can just look at her. <laughs> Which is weird, but that's how it is. <laughs> I'm telling the absolute truth. So, I don't know. This baby is just, I'm just surprised at my reaction. I mean, I knew that I liked her when I... When I seen her pictures and everything in her videos, but I didn't know it was going to be like this, you know, I didn't know I was going to just love her this much like this. It's, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm amazed at it. I mean, it's a lot of my babies that I like them. I like to look at them and everything. And I was happy when I got them, but it was just nothing compared to this. This is like 10 times more, you know, with her than any of my other silicones or reborns. This is my first experience of having a silicone or reborn since I started collecting. And it's been almost two years now, a year and a half. And um, I hadn't had any reaction like this. This is as close as I have felt since I actually had a real baby um it's it's pretty close to that feeling I won't say it's 100% like a real baby but it is really really close the way I feel about this baby right here
I even want to take her out with me because I have to go out tomorrow. And I'm like, I should just dress her and take her with me. But I'm not sure yet if I'm going to take her. I don't want to damage her and it's kind of hot outside. So I don't know if I want to take her out in those warm temperatures. Because I think tomorrow is supposed to be like 90 something degrees here in Georgia. So I don't think I want to take her out in that kind of weather. But boy, if it was going to be cooler than that, nicer temperature, I surely would take her with me okay so i am going to change her diaper and she's been wearing these cute little diapers i had um size newborn with the little cutout and i like these on her but i'm going to try a pampers diaper on her today and this one is newborn and this one is size one and wow look at the difference in the sizes so this one is a newborn so i'm going to try this newborn and see if she can fit it so excuse the girly bits if you don't want to see it because um, she does have an anatomically correct body plate. I'm not sure how much you can see. And I have to always fix that too when you change her. You have to kind of put it back in place. So I try not to even mess with it all that much unless she really needs to change then I don't have a choice so you just have to kind of push it under her and then it's back in place before you close up her diaper all right little girly but she is just such a sweetheart this baby I just don't want to damage her or do anything wrong. I don't want to hit her little face with my nails or anything. I'm debating on cutting off my fingernails. They're not that long, but they're enough to poke her. <laughs> so I was thinking about cutting them. Yeah, this diaper is a little more snug than the other one, but it fits her too. And I was supposed to fix your little powder wafer. I love those baby powder wafers. They smell so good. Hello. Okay, so that's on now. And I'm moving really slow, I know. I don't like to rush with her. So this is the back of her. She's so cute. And this is the back of her little head. And I took out her little bows as you can see. And she has a part right in the middle of her hair. Um, she had in these little bows on her hair if, when she came. And I was wondering how were they in her hair if you didn't see the previous video. So I messaged the previous mommy and said, how are these bows in her hair? You know, how do I take them out if I want to take them out? And they have stick pins in them. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but the bows have stick pins in them, like straight pins that you would use to sew with. So she just takes them and stick them down in the silicone, but I took them out. They look really cute on her, but I don't think I want to keep sticking them in her silicone. Because I don't want to damage it. You can't really see the little holes because the stick pin is so straight. But she had them right here. But you can't even tell. But I don't think I want to keep doing that. So I put a little headband on her. But this is how her face looks without the headband. And how her hair looks. And she fits the regular size little headband. So I think we'll be using headbands and hats. I don't want to stick any stick pins in her little head. Because I just don't want to damage her head over time by keep sticking the stick pins in there. 
Okay, so she's all powdered. Now let's try this outfit. I had bought this outfit for one of the other babies. I think it was for Kai or Kiera, one of them. But it's a zero to three months. But it is really long. It's Fisher Price. And I know this Fisher Price clothes are kind of big. So I don't know how this is going to fit her. But I wanted to put this on her because it'll be nice and cool on her. And it won't make her sweat and all of that. It won't make her silicone sweat. Um, And she can get air. And it has these little bloomers or diaper cover that goes under it. And they're yellow. So I'm going to put these on first. Because I put I had a sleeper on her the other day. But then it makes her kind of her powder rubs off easier and then she sweats under the sleeper. So that's why I didn't want to put another pajama on her because it's kind of warm, like I said. So I was like, let me find something else to put her in today that's cooler. Now she's filling out these little bloomers here. And I thought they would be too big, but she's kind of chubby. So she's fitting these really well. She looks so cute just with that and the t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, she's one of these babies that you just don't even want to put clothes on them because they look cute with less clothes. But mommy's going to put something on her. Because if I don't, I just rub all the powder right back off of her when I hold her. When she doesn't have anything on. And we're going to just have the little t-shirt sleeve showing though but that's okay and I seen um one of the other reborn mommy she had a good idea I think it's my sweet cupcake um she took all of her baby's onesies her reborn baby and she sewed she like cut the sleeves into zigzag and then she took lace and stitched it all around the onesie sleeve and it looked so pretty I mean it made the onesie look like so fancy so that way when she puts them on under her clothes and it sticks out it looks so nice because of the lace that's such a good idea but I just don't have the patience to sew that's not my thing <laughs> sewing was never my thing but that looks so pretty Oh, look at her little dress. <laughs> it's supposed to be a short dress, but on her, let me lift her up a little bit. It's like a little gown on her. But it's cute. It comes all the way to her ankles almost. Okay, and then I had little yellow hand mitts. Because I do sometimes like to keep those hands covered. Because I don't want to pull those little fingers. Sometimes I take them off at night. So she can get air on her fingers at night. But during the day, it's best to put hand mitts. Because sometimes my kids like to touch her hands. Because they say they, her hands look so real. So they will tend to touch her fingers. And I don't want them to pull them, so it's just best to cover the little fingers up as much as possible. And I had yellow, so I said, let me let her wear those. And then she has yellow socks, which I don't know if it's going to be too hot, but I'm going to just put them on now and then when bedtime comes I'll take the socks off because like I said my kids love this baby too and they like to touch her hands and her feet they can't get over how real she looks 
So they're constantly trying to touch her. So mommy has to cover up all of these little limbs of hers to make sure nothing gets damaged. So that's her little yellow socks. And what else? I'm going to put this yellow headband on her. And the little bow somehow just keeps going crooked on this headband. But that's okay. So that's her little headband. And she has a nice size head. It fits right in your hand. And I love when babies have a nice size head. I don't like the head too big or too small. Her head is like that perfect size. And it's nice and heavy. It's not too lightweight or anything. It's like perfect. Okay, and then I had, what, did I pick a pacifier for you? Let's see. If I have any yellow passies. This one is a magnetic one. And she does have a magnet. So she could wear that magnetic one. Um, and then I have this yellow one. But this one has to go in her mouth. Let's try that one. And it kind of has that pink color with the yellow, so it matches her little outfit. Let me just put a little bit of powder. Now, the thing with the passies, she can fit passies, but the more stuff you put in the silicone's mouth, the more wear and tear on their silicone, so to speak. So, sometimes I just take the passies out to give her little mouth a rest. Oh, I like that she could also wear magnetic passies because then you don't have to stick the passy in her mouth. So I do like that. And like I said, I like her with or without a passy. She has a cute little mouth. So sometimes I'll just take the passies out anyway. But there she is with her little dress on. So anyway, thanks for watching. Is she in the camera? So there's my little Liasia, all dressed up. So we will see you again soon, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.